Hello and welcome to a reading of the Divine Feminine. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Okay, moving right along. So oh, I heard Whitney Houston say, Don't make me close on my door. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay in my arms if you dare. I must I imagine you there. Yeah, I ain't sinker, but that's what she was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, universe, angels, spirit gods, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the divine feminine. Some energy. I don't want to use these cards actually. God, universe, angels, spirit gods, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the divine feminine. What's the energy? What does the divine feminine need to hear at this time? <laughs> That's like robot. I robot. Will Smith, all he had in that movie was his dog, right? I don't quite remember it. But he was trying to save the world. He was I don't know what he was doing. Something about the movie I robot. There's something about a robot. <laughs> oh, um, for that Whitney Houston song, somebody still could be very much dealing with their divine masculine. Or you dealing dealing with somebody, okay? And you feeling like um, you've been through enough. And your feelings is hurt or your heart is broke. And you want this person to understand or get, get their shit together because you don't want to have to close this door. But I feel like you will if you absolutely have to, but you really don't want to. That's for somebody. <clears throat> I know it's a lot of people not out there dealing with their twin flame, but some of y'all might be, okay? Okay, so, only energy of high vibration, high frequency, and high white light is welcome here, spirit. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome, and I ask that you rebuke it in the name of you. Amen and amen. Messages for the divine feminine. What messages do we have for the divine feminine? Messages for divine feminine. She don't need that passive. Messages for divine feminine. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Shrimp card under it. The hangman to the king of pentacles. Judgment, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. It looks like somebody's trying hard to hold on to a relationship or a marriage. And then judgment. Somebody could have a decision between a long-term partnership and the twin flame, putting work into the love of a twin flame situation. Or this could have happened already. And the person made some type of choice that put them in the tire moment. And now they're ready to take a leap of faith. But the other person is guarded because they don't trust them. So, somewhere lies your situation. And if it don't, let it fly, baby. Okay. Divine Feminine. Oh, man. Why I shuffle? I don't know. Well, I shuffle anyway. I was say. It just feels like I should have took that card off the top. I like to feel like they should have did something that they didn't do against their own better judgment. The star card. The ace of pentacles. The king of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got Aquarius. Two of Wands. The Emperor. Aries. So we got Aquarius, Earth, Fire, twice. 
in Aries. So heavy is Aries. Heavy Aries energy. The, tour, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus. The High Priestess, Pisces. The Moon, Pisces, Cancer. Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Chariot, Cancer. So somebody took a long time to act on their intuition because they didn't know where it was going to take them. It was a lot unknown and a lot of mysterious, a lot of intuitive actions needing to be taken. And I feel like this caused this person to drag their feet. And once that tower hit them, they, they end up in this Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords energy ready to move forward because justice they understand they, they learned some type of major lesson about a past energy that they was putting work into so somebody could be healing here with the star card let me start clarifying with these something about the stars why is that here for divine things Got the star. The star card is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody's now single here. Somebody's single and healing. From feeling betrayed in the love situation. So somebody feel like they gave genuine love and, and betray, was betrayed in, in return. So because of that, they're focusing on themselves and they're healing with the star energy. Could be focused on something else. Could be going back to school. But I do feel like this is signifying somebody's focus in another direction. <laughs> Sorry. Um, whether this be a divine feminine who is um, healing from a situation where she felt like she gave her love, could be to a divine masculine, and she felt like she got betrayed in return. Or this is the divine masculine now single because he got betrayed in a situation where he only got gave love and now his focus is shifting. And I say that it could be him because somebody's receiving the tower moment when it comes to this twin flame situation, which is how they got the King of Wands energies even here to begin with. So this is what the, the, it's a powerful revelation here. So this could be you as well as as well as the divine masculine. Divine masculine. What's the seven of swords? healing energy from the temperance so the seven of swords is clarified by the temperance the nine of wands and the page of cups so the temperance is more healing on top of that star energy it's a lot of healing a lot of good healing for the soul but um there's a defense here. Somebody's very de defensive and guarded. I feel like towards somebody who's trying to apologize. And this person's just like, fuck you, leave me alone, I'm healing. Or somebody could be guarded towards any kind of love offers, period. No, but I feel like it's from the emperor. There he is at the end. I feel like it's from this emperor. This is somebody stressed out from the emperor offering love. Saying, oh, you fulfilled my wishes. Can we move past it? He's in a lot of strength and courageousness. But you also feel like he stabbed you. Now he got the nerve to want a reconciliation. Want you to put some work in. And you just like, what the fuck? Guard it. You don't know what to do here. But your intuition shall help you. And there's the empress. That's definitely somebody's situation. <clears throat> Because this Ace of Pentacles is here. Somebody's reaching out, offering something. 
There's somebody taking action and trying to offer something here. Some type of opportunity. Somebody could feel like they're better off on their own than dealing, than giving us another chance. But I do feel like somebody's coming around for at least the very least a friendship, but I don't feel like that's what they want. They want something Ace of Pentacles style. This is somebody who had to learn lessons and go through a tower moment and now is being led by the star. Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who learned a lesson and has a beginner's mindset. Yeah. Somebody who has clarity. Somebody who's focused on the clarity that they have. Or somebody who's experienced some type of growth. But this is somebody focused on alignment and clarity. The mission. And they're not doing too much to think about it. They're just getting it done. This is somebody who's feeling inspired or passionate. They feel like this is their path. And they want to try to balance it out after receiving clarity or some type of revelation, some type of truth. And the other person's like, I don't know, I don't trust this. I don't know about this. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody got a harsh reality check. That's what this is. A painful ass ending revealing the truth to them. And this is how they got here to the Ace of Pentacles. Because somebody had to make bad decisions. Or be in confrontation. Be, be um, in, in some type of... I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing war. But I feel like this is something somebody chose for themselves with judgment energy. Something they chose to hold on to. They wanted it to work out with the Wheel of Fortune energy. They wanted a second chance or working out or something like that. But it was a bad decision, Father Swords. And it became a harsh reality check through this Ten of Swords, the painful ending that somebody experienced. I feel like this is a masculine energy. It's given that somebody painfully betrayed and hurt you, and they got the same thing in return. So it's giving me yeah, somebody painfully betrayed you and then they got the same thing in return with this ten of swords giving them clarity, you realizing that they made a bad decision or they did it they had terrible ideas or made bad decisions. And this is how they moved to the ace of pentacles that they realized that this is where they're supposed to be. Star energy to the ace of pentacles. This is something destined, a destined opportunity. And they had to learn the hard way. So somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is also the King of Pentacles that was trying to hold on to that Queen of Pentacles in the beginning from when we was looking at the bottom. And then we got the Fool, Beginner's Mindset, ready to start fresh. And the Five of Cups, it's attached to disappointment and regret. The Tower. To the four of wands to the king of wands next card king of wands this is somebody who had taken action on a brand new beginning and they're feeling regret and disappointment but they 
they didn't want to take action on it, but they had to go through this Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. They had to go through the Ten of Swords to get to the Ace, which brought them to the Ace of Pentacles. So, and they did have to do it through the Tower, and the Tower brought them a nasty Ten of Swords. So, there's an Earth sign here. Or somebody that is wanting to come to you and make you feel like they're trustworthy. They want to risk it all and be a trustworthy partner for you. And they regret how they how they something went down in the past. What's this Ten of Swords? I feel like I think that's why I clarified, but I'm clarifying it again. The Ten of Swords. The King of Swords. So it could be an air sign or an earth sign. It could be either or. And somebody stressing, staying up at night thinking about a situation. This is somebody who gained wisdom on how to follow their intuition and why they should follow their intuition. Cold hard facts. This is somebody who wants to move towards a victory. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. And I feel like they're going to be moving fast here. Somebody want to communicate. And they want the communication to be victorious. Tell about the Ace of Swords. got the king and the queen of swords. Hold on, guys. Okay, um, so first let me talk about this clarity. Um, Somebody was at a crossroads previously, and I feel like they received the clarity that they needed about where they should have put their work in versus where they did. And this is how they got to the Ten of Swords, because they ended up going in the wrong direction. I, got, I heard, I do, I do, I do, ooh. And I heard, um, if somebody now understands the meaning of, if loving you is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Um... And then I heard I need a girl who's my all uh, my I need a girl in my life. Um and I heard all the times that I was loving you, you were busy loving yourself. I would stop breathing if you told me to. Now you're busy loving someone else. So that's that's in some cases how a person got their ten of swords. Excuse me. Now, I do feel like this was you at one point, but I feel like this is somebody who's re receiving karma as to how they treated you. This is somebody who was flighty. Somebody who's now closed out a cycle of a past situation, which caused them to hold back from what Spirit told them to do. And now they're sitting here holding a lot of heavy burdens, but they learned a major lesson. Now they're ready to take action. Tell me about this king of fire. King of fire clarified by the king of fire. And what are they trying to take charge on? A twin flame, some type of union. Why? Because they had a moment to pause and reflect to see things or see things from another perspective or get things from another angle. Hey, man. the tower they know they got the revelation they got the clarity they know what alignment looks like and they focused they're planning strategizing talking about this king of wands clarifying the king of wands that's what spirit told this person to do they're taking charge towards the very thing that they held back from I mean, take an action. King of Wands. Somebody's taking action here. When it comes to a committed love situation, 
or they're, they're taking their love in the direction where spirit has guided them to go. The emperor, he's moving towards his contract. There could definitely will be some opposers or people who disagree. Somebody who's fighting it all. What's this five of wands energy? This could be something this person spent all their time fighting off because they were afraid of it. It could have been this person went the other, di way, other direction. Not because they didn't think he was a better option, but because they were just stuck in a cycle. They didn't want change. They want Some people just are comfortable with how they're doing it. And they don't want to do stuff that requires healing and change and to fix yourself. Because that process is a nasty one. Yep, fear. This person had a lot of fear with the devil to the eight of swords energy. But with the chariot says they're moving past the fear in order to do what the Lord has called them to do when it comes to whatever this knight of cups is. Tell about the knight of cups. The seven of cups. The queen of wands. You feel like you got a lot of options. Yeah. He want to be the main one. There's the emperor. Taking taking action. Taking charge. Because he feel like you're the one. Not only that. He feel like you got a lot of options. Or he feel like you was some type of confusion. That he's trying to get in front of. Seven of cups. Some type of an illusion. That led him astray. The lovers could be a Gemini here. We got Capricorn, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Cups to the world to the judgment. Somebody could be up at night stressing about some type of karma that they're receiving or about the fact that somebody made a decision to move away. But I do feel like this emperor is trying to get in, in ahead of something. The lovers, the six of pentacles, and the six of swords. He's definitely trying to get balance here. He feels like there was an illusion that he's moved away from. And he's ready to balance out his twin flame. Six of swords. So don't make me close on my door. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay. person say don't walk away from me I know I fucked up but don't walk away from me don't make me close on my door I don't want to hurt anymore yes the person stressed because of the decision they made that landed them into the hammer mode but it gave them the tools they need to move forward with this magician energy now six of swords is clarified by the queen of cups the world the seven of pentacles and the six of swords so is somebody's trying to move move towards or in the calmer waters with this Queen of Cups, or that's the person that they closed out the cycle with. Somebody's looking back. Look at that Seven of Swords, how he looks back on the past. He's reflecting over the past that got him here today. Reflecting on what he invested in to get him here. Somebody's done learned the lesson here, or they still in the midst of learning it. But if they're taking action, reaching out and moving towards you, they didn't learn the lesson. And they're moving as the King of Wands and the Emperor. So they definitely learned some type of lesson. Somebody's planning here or strategizing. But they're making some type of choices, movements, and decisions. Or it puts you in a position to make a choice, movement, and decision about this Emperor. But it weighs heavy on you with the Ten of Wands energy. And it stresses you out. Because some of y'all stressed out because you don't know if this person got what it takes with this magician energy. Oh, but they got it. 
Some of y'all are stressed out and weighed down because this person, um, they fumbled you for like a karmic partnership or a lifetime or a, a soulmate when this is twin flame energy. You feel confused and possibly hurt because you're feeling torn. You're feeling torn here because you don't want to go against your destiny, but you don't want to end up hurt either. So that's where your burdens come from. Because this is not Burger King. Have it your way. <laughs> or, I mean, it could, you could just say no, but at the same t token, you're feeling some type of way about what the Lord will want you to do. For whoever this is I'm resonating with. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords. So that puts you in energy. So you're stressed, possibly, because you don't know what this person got going on with they, that person that they chose at first. But then you weigh down with burdens because it's like, well, what would Jesus do? Page of Swords. You stressed about the per the right direction to go in. You're stressing about information that you received. Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the King of Cups, the King and the Queen of Cups. You're stressing about the right thing to do when it comes to destiny and the fact about hope and between doing the right thing because of destiny and holding back because of hurt. So, but you need some clarity here, some type of perspective. Page of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. This is somebody who holds a lot of love for you. That's, that could be underlying. I don't know if this person told that to you or not because the four swords is here. But for you, I feel like what you need is clarity on if this love is genuine. If this connection is the right route to take. Three of swords. Because the last thing you want to do is end up heartbroken again. Because of the decision that you made. So basically what I feel like you're doing is not doing anything to spirit tells you what to do. Knight of Wands. It's like you you back and forth, in and out on the decision that you want to make when it comes to this. A death or a rebirth death card. Page of Wands. Start fresh or focus on something new. The Four of Pentacles. The Will of Fortune. Hold back or give them another chance. <laughs> What's the page of wands? The lovers, the queen of pentacles, and the six of pentacles. What's the four of pentacles? The hangman, the king of pentacles. Somebody definitely dealing with an earth sign or a cancer, maybe even a Pisces. But the holding back is where the three of swords comes from. Because if you move up forward with this person, will they break your heart? Will they slow you down, stagnate you, cause you blockages? Tell me about this king of pentacles. Or the masculine. The masculine intentions. Spirit. No, they genuinely know. They genuinely want a second chance with you or feel like y'all got a destiny. They genuinely know you ain't taking no shit or you not fucking around. And they genuinely know that you the one. They genuinely want to be a part of this connection. And they genuinely have closed the cycle. So tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody could have found out they were sleeping with the enemy as well. Cause there that's why I said there's the Queen of the Queen of Cups is here now. And the Seven of Cups. So somebody between these women, but I feel like it's the Queen of Pentacles because in the beginning the Queen and King of Pentacles came out, putting him by a choice to choose between his long term slash carpet partner or his twin flame slash empress. 
So I feel like the Queen of Pentacles, in some cases, could have been the Queen of Cups, caused confusion here when it came for, towards this masculine, moving towards this spiritual connection with this Queen of Cups. It could have been the other way around, but I don't feel like it. This person was made aware that they're supposed to be a King of Cups and not a King of Pentacles in this connection, and there's their clarity. Tell about the Seven of Cups. Remember, right now we care clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Cups too, just to see who get the worst cards. That's how I figure out who's doing what. So, in some cases, that's why I said, hold on. That's why I said, because this is the Empress. The world. But is she the person who is the Empress or the person who the cycle got closed with? So, the person can focus on the Empress, the person who was trying to cause confusion. Tell about the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Cups is the person. She's the person that the masculine was scared to take a leap of faith towards. To plant the seeds. To build, to grow. Yeah, she's the one he got that lesson behind. Ten of Swords, Moon, King of Swords, Hermit. Because of intuition. His intuition was telling him to choose. To start fresh. To be single. To go towards emotional fulfillment. But he made a bad decision by waiting. Okay. So in some cases it could be vice versa. But it looked like the Queen of Pentacles was causing confusion. In this person's case... It was a Queen of Pentacles causing confusion because they knew that the cycle was about to close so that this person can move towards the Empress. So she decided to razzle-dazzle it up a bit and make the Emperor confused. Tell about this Emperor. See? He the one that was sitting there left waiting. The Seven of Wands, the Six of Seven. The past didn't do shit but fuck him over. Whoever the woman is that he waited on and was patient for, he ended up with a lot of burdens. Seven of wands, three of wands, that's ten. He ended up with a gang of burdens from waiting or trying to prove himself to somebody from the past who only betrayed him because the magician and the seven of swords, this person was manipulative, deceptive, and possibly even did black magic. But that's that's that would be the devil too, but I don't know. I just the, the magician and the seven of swords is trickery. And you know what the fuck you're doing. You're purposely doing it. Like you're playing games with me. You're playing in my face. Six of, swords, six of cups. Which is how this person ended up at the ten of swords. Because this person was selfish. This person didn't give a fuck about them for real. And this is why they came out as the magician and the seven of swords. She wants this person to be confused. And I don't know what the fuck to do. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling not good enough. Feeling sad. Disappointed. But still focused on the past. So that he can still put resources in. Time. Energy. Money. Effort. So that's, what, that's what I said but she was coming in taking what she wanted and she left that's the night of wine sometimes and that's the masculine's karma so what happens to the feminine that did this I need to mind my business I know she get the same ten of swords that he got everybody got a ten of swords the ten of swords in the tower she didn't leave Sky free because she playing with motherfuckers destiny. She's scared of the motherfucker for this, this this karma she got. But I bet you she's gonna follow her intuition and do what the star tell her to do instead of being the seven of swords and the magician. She's gonna be the high priestess and the magician. Tread motherfucking lightly, doing what the fuck she was told. And what's the masculine doing? Tell me more about the emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. The Knight of Cups. He on his motherfucking way to do what the Lord told him to do. The Ace of Wands. Trying to offer his love to his destiny because he's got a new perspective. But he had to be played, played with, manipulated, fucked over in a major way in order to understand. 
I feel like this all happened the way it was supposed to. Now everybody can learn they listen. And now it's time for the karma, the good karma to be distributed or bad karma. It's time for things to be balanced and made fair here with the justice energy. It's time for the burdens to go down. Ten of Cups, it's time for people to be happy. Tell them about the advice. What advice do we have for the Empress regarding the situation? The Four of Pentacles. Advice for the Empress regarding the situation. Six of Wands. Advice for the Empress regarding the situation. Ten of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. So your advice is that this person has facts. They they learn the cold hard facts and they have learned their lesson. And yes, it has taken a while and possibly stretched you out. But this person is finally walking away from the lies and standing in the truth when it comes to this connection. Because they see you as wish fulfillment even though they wounded you up a little bit. It's going to take this person a lot of strength and courage to come towards you or communicate with you or whatever. Because they've been through a whole lot. I do feel like this person, what they're saying is here... The person had, had ego, which caused them to hold back, okay? Four of Pentacles, but I do feel like at this time, they would like to be victorious in the long-term commitment. And where'd the ego go? Where'd the Five of Wands go, Spirit? The Sun card, it got exposed. It got exposed and healed with the Temperance energy. So this is somebody you've probably been in separation with. A lot of changes happen with three major arcana fine, clarifying three cards. So a lot of changes happen. So first the ego or the, uh, the competition got exposed. It got healed or neutralized. And now this person's knitting or they're finding the strength and the courage to come your way to say what they need to say to you. Four of Pentacles. I do feel like you need to tread lightly, not because this person can't be trusted, because you don't want to just dive all in the situation. You you need to retake the time to get to know this person, because I feel like nobody's the same after going through lessons. And I do feel like you're going to want to hold back because it took a long time, but I do feel like you're going to receive some underlying information. Something's going to be brought to the surface to you. Moon to the Four of Swords. Three of Cups. Yep, that gives you the clarity to let you know that it is okay to reconciliate if that's what you want to do. And it is okay to walk away if that's what you want to do. Or return back to the situation. And in this case, I feel like that card was in reverse. So eight of, the Eight of Cups reversed or upright. And what this person is returning back to you after learning the lesson. That somebody had to learn the lesson here with the Hermit Energy. And they're, they're realizing what fulfills their wishes and what makes them happy. I feel like this person has been brought into balance. King of Swords reverse. But I don't feel like they was always so nice to this connection. This was somebody who was terrible. It was mean, cold, liar, calculated, but they're no longer that person. Because they're walking away from their lives and standing the truth. After judgment struck their ass, I've seen that judgment down there. Yeah, because they made bad decisions. This was had nothing. I mean, it had something to do with you because you got hit by the crossfire. But it, this was all about this person's bad choices and bad decisions when it came to getting them into alignment with what Spirit told them to do. So they received karma for that and how they treated people along the way, which was not so nice with this King of Swords reverse. But in alignment is the Ace of Cups. And the Magician. So Spirit took this person through some lessons some boot camp <laughs> gave them the tools they needed to manifest gave them the courage and the confidence and the strength that they never would have had in the past which is why they held back and now you should hear, hear from this person if this is your story and you will contemplate on whether to take them back or walk away you might even be more leaning towards walking away but for some for most of you if not all you're going to be concerned with what spirit wants you to do why? Because we've all had our fair share of karma. If you have, and you're, this is where you are in your life, then you have had your fair share of karma. And what you learn from karma is that you never want to go against the Lord because it might fuck you in the long run. And in the same token, you don't want to put yourself in a hurtful situation, so you'll be hung up on what to do. And then you'll receive clarity on how to go about it. 
which I do feel like they're going to tell you to possibly stay and hang around with this person. Um, but some of y'all might also get the opportunity to just walk away or keep moving on. Some of y'all might have already moved on and got new opportunities after you heal, And they're not going to tell you. Well, I don't know what they're going to tell you, but I don't feel like they're going to tell you to walk away from a new opportunity that you've already started to move towards and invest in and it makes you happy in order to go back to the emperor. I feel like in some cases it'll be your decision. In some cases you might be destined to go in the union this lifetime, but the story is going to be different for everybody's individual situation. But thank you so much for watching and that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, anything you need to know about me that's available to know is in the description box. Like how to book a person is. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Namaste and be blessed.